A solar cell is like a battery with a large surface area. Light produces current which then needs to flow from one cell to another inside a solar panel. So let's turn on a solar cell to see this in action. In this picture here, we visualize the voltage variations in the cell plane as the cell switches on its voltage. If we don't draw current from the cell, we reach the open circuit condition, just like a battery that's fully charged and not in use. The best way to use the solar cell is to draw just the right amount of current. You can see here, the voltage drops in the cell plane due to the current flow. This is called the maximum power point. A solar cell has to last 20 years in the outdoors, so it needs to be ready for real-world situations. It needs to be ready for the occasional trespasser who might inadvertently block it from the sun. Every hour, millions of solar cells are made around the world. The industry is adapting a lot of imaging and visualization techniques to screen every cell that is made to ensure only the top-notch cells go into a panel. We need to look out for defects that can impact the cell's performance and durability. One often seen defect is metal line breaks, which are kind of like interrupted connections within the cell that will disrupt smooth current flow. Another significant defect is recombination sites which is a bit like leaky pathways that prevent the solar cells from reaching its maximum potential voltage. Recombination sites often crop out at certain parts of the cell, such as near the edges. So here we illustrate a cell with a large edge recombination, which tends to drag down the voltage. Solar cells in a panel are connected to one another using soldered ribbons. In the field, occasionally, a weak solder joint may gradually detach. This can cause a major interruption in the current flow. Over time, the solar cell may develop defective points under the stress of high voltage, humidity, temperature, and partial shading. These spots act like current sinks, which again drags down the voltage of the cell. By diligent monitoring and visualization of the manufactured cells and panels, combined with careful analysis and research, we can snip the defects at its butt and ensure that all the panels installed around the world are reliable, cost-effective and efficient.